The ALGS playoff year four split two land in Mannheim, Germany just came to an end. And big shout out to the players Zainu, Koifel, and our current brand new IGL GOAT in Apex Legends, Phony himself. Huge congratulations to the success of SSG. We love seeing SSG come out with this dub. Now we know that this land is the first tournament played on the brand new patch of season 22 with a lot of changes. And one of those biggest changes in season 22 is the addition of akimbo weapons in Apex Legends. But specifically what we're gonna talk about today is the akimbo Mozambique. I mean, watch part of the entire thing, everything from group stage to bracket stage, winner's bracket, as well as championship Sunday, which was absolutely wild. It went 10 games, it was insane. I think 11 teams were on match point. SSG still three man up, Zainu just dies. But they have to clean it back up. Alliance is solo, Tyler on height. A two man, unlucky! Unlucky! Unlucky on his own! Oh my god! SSG won! I don't I, 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 I don't even know I just watched, bro. But if you were watching like we were watching it, we noticed the entire time the most used gun by far, by miles, was in fact the Mozambique Akimbo. So much so that I wanted to know the exact details of what that looked like in this tournament. So I went over to this wonderful, very nerdy website that we call called Apex Legends Status. Shout out my community for putting me onto this. We kept up with how many kills each player had, what teams were dominating what, and damage versus their point output, stuff like that. Little nerdy details that you can really get into to understand what's happening during these tournaments. But you can also find out how many kills each gun has. If I click on weapons and overview, you can see that the Mozambique Akembo weapons had 1,161 kills during the entire tournament throughout everybody playing. The follow-up weapon, the weapon that has the closest amount of kills after the Akembo Mozam, is the Nemesis AR with 302, 302. That is a 859 kill difference. We have never seen one gun dominate a meta during an ALGS this heavily. I believe the closest that we've ever seen was if you go through this website, you can find it for yourself, was a couple seasons ago with the R99. I believe that one had 973 kills over the entire tournament. To have almost 200 more kills than that, from the Mozambique Akimbos is something that we have to talk about. So the question is this, are the Mozambique Akimbos overpowered? I've been playing the new season, obviously nonstop every day on Twitch for eight hours a day, pretty much, right? I've used the Mozambique Akimbo probably less than every other shotgun. I'm a huge shotgun fan. If you watch my gameplay videos and you watch my clips and you watch how I play, I love the Peacekeeper. I think my Peacekeeper is level like 107 or something in the game. And I love the Mastiff, especially this season. I think the Mastiff is incredibly, incredibly strong and really, really fun to use. But the Mozambique Akimbos, like don't get me wrong they hit super hard but the fun level is not that good and shout out to my mod sleepy aries on twitch the way they put it into words when i was trying to explain why i don't like the mozambique kimbo is they said there's not a lot of room for skill expression and that's honestly the perfect way that i can explain it is that the mozambique kimbo don't it's really cool it's really fun to run around and see you're running around dual wielding and everything but when you're actually fighting and using when i'm watching the gameplay it's just not as fun to me it's not as exciting there's not as much that you can do that is like so head turning especially in the shotgun category shotguns are known for big plays high risk high reward right like you you could hit up somebody with a pk for nine or eleven now or something like that or you can hit it for 120 and the fact that that's so much skill disparity that allows you to do that makes it so entertaining my favorite part about algs is seeing the skill gap and seeing high level players pull off phenomenal things and i'm not saying that didn't happen there was absolutely incredible things that went down during this tournament giant kraber shots like hackis in the finals hitting two back-to-back -back kraber shots that solidified their rotate in to put them up in the top five with nocturnal hitting those two back-to-back -back instant knock bow shots 70 boom 70 boom to give them the last two kp they needed to push into match point some of the best moments i've seen in algs history but it was extremely obvious that the mozambique akimbo dominated every single fight i think that the dual mozambique got in the way of a lot of moments that could have been really 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 cool especially with how strong the, the massive is right now to me in my opinion the massive is such a skill expression weapon it's a little spammy of course but you can pull off some moments that are just like make the crowd go crazy make the crowd go wild because it was just so gross them mm, like stank face moments and i feel like we kind of lost that because the mozam akimbos don't really play that way
The Mosin Akimbos are definitely more of a tracking heavy kind of pellet spray gun. And I feel like the reason that's the case is because the Mozam is such a tracking heavy weapon. You track with them the same way that you would track with an SMG or something like that. But because they're shotguns and it's pellets coming out and not a straight line of something that you have to aim the same way, the skill expression goes away a little bit, in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong. They are really fun. They are really cool to play. I've used them myself sometimes, but they're not my favorite. I'm definitely picking up a PK. I'm definitely picking up a Mastiff over the Akimbo Mozams. So I say all this to pose this question should the mozambique akimbos get nerfed in my opinion yes there's never been a weapon that dominates the meta so much in an algs that it even reaches a thousand kills like i said the r9 970 but to be well over at a 1161 kills is outlandish and it should prove to the devs and to the player base that these weapons should be nerfed now how would i nerf them personally first and foremost i would take away hammer points the time to kill with hammer points and without hammer points not too different to be honest with you but those last couple of shots can make or break a difference in a 1v1 situation i would also probably cut down on the range in my opinion the whole point of akimbo is to be really strong really up close but lose a lot of the accuracy of the range but in my opinion the mozams you can still do a lot of damage in 20 to even 30 40 meters away so i would shut down a little bit of that because to run an akimbo you're going to lose a lot of accuracy i think that the current mozams accuracy at distant at range is actually actually a, a hidden gem about the Mozam, but I think a lot of that damage fall off should be super apparent and super inaccurate when shooting at anything past maybe 15 meters. It should be really, really strong up close. That's the whole point of Akemba. But these are a few things I think that can cut down on the, the spam rate of a gun. I think it is a problem when one weapon is dominating everything. Honestly, in my opinion, this was probably the most interesting and most balanced meta across the entire board of ALGS that I've ever seen. We see saw multiple legend comps. We saw obviously a domination of like crypto and Newcastle, which you'd never think you'd see in ALGS. And it brought like a spice to the game that was really, really fun. But something that took me out of how cool that was is how dominant Moza and Akimbo was. Every single player that I was watching pretty much we're running that one weapon and when everyone's running one weapon it gets a little boring and personally i'm not gonna lie as a mouse and keyboard player and someone who really loves skill expression shotguns being strong is so dope to me i just want the spamming to go down a little bit let me know what you guys think if you enjoy this type of video if you want to see more content like this from me let me know in the comments and please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already we are on the road to 5,000 subs like the video if you liked it dislike it if you didn't thanks so much for taking the time out to hang out and watch this video i'll see you in the next one peace